everybody. We are so excited to get to share our lesson with you all today. We miss all of our Ridge kids, but are thankful that everyone is staying safe. I love that we are in the middle of teaching our kids about the great outdoors in the middle of these uncertain times. We hope that you enjoy worshiping and leading your kids in this study. In addition to our skit and worship, we have also provided the lessons for you to go over as a family. Please follow us on our Instagram page and our Facebook to stay in touch during this time. We cannot wait to be back together again soon. If we can do anything for you and your family during this time, please let us know. Welcome to the Great Outdoors. I'm so glad you're here at Green Rock National Park because this is my favorite place on earth. We're going to have a blast during this time, loving God by participating in the fun and loving others by respecting our friends and leaders. Our park's official ranger will be here in just a bit, but while we wait, let's do our need to know. So, Everyone, say this as loud as you can, okay? Open up my heart. One more time, guys. Open up my heart. You've got it. But we've been learning what that means. If we really want to open up our heart, it helps to be quiet. So let's get as still and quiet as we can and say today's need to know again. Open up my heart. Good. There's a lot of reasons to open up your heart to God. And one of the ways to do that is by singing worship songs to Him. So, let's get as loud as we can and sing a song. Everyone stand up and sing with me. I'll give you my praise and I will follow you All of my days 
to explore and enjoy all the things God has made in, the neck, in this neck of the woods. I'd love to welcome each visitor of Green Rock National Park who stops by before they set up to camp or hike the trails. So here are a few things you'll want to know no matter where you are and where your day takes you. First things first, who here has ever been on a hike? Yeah? Oh, that's awesome. Well, then you are all well aware that proper snacking is important, so you, that you'll have energy to hike in and back out before the sun goes down. You should drink plenty of water, of course, bring lots of golden roll bars or beef jerky, and maybe even some of your own bag of bugs. But, just in case you forget, forget your snacks, we have a saying around here that helps everyone remember what you can eat and what you can't. When it comes to berries, the park ranger saying goes like this. Say it after me. White and yellow, kill a fellow. <laughs> Purple and blue, good for you. That's right. And to always be on the safe side, make sure that you stay away from red berries altogether. Phew, I'm glad I taught you that one. And remember, no matter how tempting, don't eat anything off the trees. Their bark is bigger than their bite. Get it? Because trees have bark? <laughs> oh man. Oh well. I guess I just should stick to my ranger duties instead of cracking jokes. I said we catch up on with my friend Clay to see what is sappening over on his side of the park. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really done with the tree jokes for now. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, Clay here. Today we're gonna be checking in with my friend Autumn she studied something really cool, and I can't wait for you to hear all about it. But I'm gonna let her tell you. Let's go find Autumn, come on. Autumn, hi there. Thanks for meeting up with us. I was just about to let everyone in on what we're learning today, but I thought you could tell them. Oh, I'd be glad to. Okay, my specialty is the study of noises animals make to help them communicate. Its official name is bioacoustics. Nice. So let me get this straight. You study the way animals talk? Right, here, I'll give you an example. Have you ever gone to a different country and heard them speak another language? Oui, oui, mon ami. <laughs> That's French for yes, my friend. I'm a little rusty, but you get it. Well, that's kind of how it works for animals. Each type or group of animals have their own special language that helps them communicate. Like birds chirping? Birds do use chirping to talk to each other, but it's actually so much more than that. Every single animal has a special way to communicate with their same species. That is so cool. How did you learn to speak the language of all the different animals? I wish I could talk to some. Well, guess what? You actually can. Here, try this, a squirrel call. A squirrel call? 
Is this like a cell phone for squirrels? A squirrel phone? Um, yes, Mr. Squirrel. I am free for an acorn latte. 3 p.m. on Tuesday? Sounds great. No, like this. Oh, of course, of course. That was squirrel for see you Tuesday. It's important that animals know how to communicate with each other. Sometimes it might be for fun, like a, hey, how you doing? And other times it might be to warn everyone about something that might be dangerous. Danger! Danger! Want to try another one? This is for a fox. Hmm. What does the fox say? <laughs> I think you're getting the hang of it. Well, I don't mean to toot my own horn. So I can use a call to talk to any animal? Well, not exactly. Take ants, for example. Even though they may not use sound, they have their own special way to help them talk to one another. So how do they communicate exactly? Because I hear that ants don't actually have mouths. You're right about that, Clay. Ants can speak, but in a very interesting way. They have a spike on their back that they stroke with one of their legs, and the noises come from the vibrations. Oh, like the noise my comb makes. That's exactly right. Animals have lots of different ways to communicate and have so much to say. And you know, Clay, studying about the way they talk to each other has helped me learn so much about them, from the way they eat to how they travel. There's so much to know. Well, I know I've learned so much today. Autumn, thanks for hanging out with us. Man, the great outdoors is the place to be. I can't wait for our next adventure. See you later. That was so cool. To think that every species has their own unique way to communicate and build relationships with each other. Oh man, one of the things I love about nature is how it helps us grow in our friendship with God. There are badges we use to help park visitors grow in their friendship with God too. Each one represents a letter in the word grow. We see here, the G stands for get quiet. So let's try it and see what happens by playing a game. So you guys, I need you to be very still and listen. And when you hear a sound and know what it is, quietly and quickly raise your hand. All right, let's get quiet. Ready? Three, two, one. Listen. <coughs> Let's play another round. When you hear a sound and know what it is, quietly and quickly raise your elbow this time. All right, ready? Three, two, one, listen. Oh, did you guess it? That's one of my favorite sounds is that of thunder because I know that a big rain is exactly what our forest, plants, and animals need. Let's play one last round. When you hear a sound and know what it is, I want you to quietly and quickly raise your pinky this time. All right, ready? Three, two, one, listen. Oh yeah, did you guys get it? That, that loud but hardworking, it was a woodpecker. He makes holes in our trees by using his beak like a hammer. Now it's time to talk about the R badge. If we're going to get to know God more, we need to read God's word. And of course, I mean the Bible. When we read the Bible, we see who God is. And it's also one of the ways that he speaks to us. So now that we're quiet, we can check out a true story from God's word. Think about all the time you spend talking to your friends. God wants to talk to you in the same way. Just like a friend, God cares about everything in your life, and He will hear your every prayer when you open up your heart to Him. Jesus opened up His heart to God by setting aside time to talk to Him. When Jesus was teaching one day, He told the people listening not to be like those who don't know God. They pray, saying things that mean nothing, thinking that God will hear them because of their many words, or that other people will be impressed. 
God cares most about who we are when no one else is watching. He wants to talk to us and even knows the things we need before we ask Him. When Jesus was on earth, He showed His disciples and us how we can talk to God. He began by saying, Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come and that what you want will be done here on earth, the same as in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive our sins, just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. Don't let us be tempted, but save us from the evil one. If we follow Jesus' example in prayer, we can simply 1. Tell God how great He is. 2. Tell Him that we want what He wants for our lives and ask Him to give us what we need. 3. And ask Him to forgive our sins and help us when we think about doing the wrong things. We will begin to see that He does hear our prayers and He answers them in His time. When we open up our hearts to God and tell Him those things, our friendship with Him will grow. So if Jesus taught His disciples to open up their hearts to talk to God and to listen to Him, we should too. Jesus knows, Jesus shows us that opening up our hearts is a great way for our friendship to grow with God. Which is exactly what we do after we get quiet and read God's Word. We need to open up our hearts to God. The first part of opening up your heart is thinking about who God is. So, think about the story we just heard. What did we learn about who God is? Raise your hand if you learned that God is your Heavenly Father. And who learned that God wants us to talk to Him? Yes, there is so much that we can learn about who God is and what He wants us to do when we read His Word. Which leads us to our next question. What does God want me to do? You know, when I think about it, I can see that I can talk to God at any time about anything. When there is a quiet moment in your day for you to open up your heart to God and pray, just think about that for a second. When would be a good time that's a quiet time for you guys to open up your heart to pray? There is so much good that will come from opening up our hearts to God, just like the letter O reminds us to do. When we pray, we can tell God anything we want and ask Him any questions that are on our minds. Let's all close our eyes and open up our hearts to God now by praying the Lord's Prayer from our Bible story, just like Jesus taught His disciples to do. Our Father in Heaven, we pray that Your name will always be kept holy. We pray that Your kingdom will come and that what You want will be done here on earth. The same as in heaven. Give us this food we need for each day. Forgive our sins, just as we have forgiven those who did us who did wrong to us. Don't let us be tempted, but save us from the evil one. Amen. Now, the final letter in grow is W, which stands for worship God. And you know what? There is no one better to tell us about worship than our friend, Olivia. So, worship leader Olivia, why don't you come on back up here and tell us more what it means to worship God. Thanks, Ranger Candace. I love to worship. Worshiping God is anything we do to show God we love Him, including singing songs. Sometimes when we worship, it's good to slow down and sing songs that help us focus on who God is and tell Him how much we love Him. So that's what we're going to do now. Candace and I are going to come down out here with you guys and join in, and we're going to worship God in our own way. That's right. Let's worship.
I love that song. It's such a great reminder that God is a good father and we are all so loved by him. Thanks again for spending this time with us. We'll check back with you next week to see what new things we've discovered about God and this beautiful place. That's right. Today was so fun. I'll see you back next week. And in the meantime, remember to stay away from those red berries. But more importantly, open up your heart to God. Bye. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today in the great outdoors. Enjoy the rest of the day with your family. See you soon.